This is part 8 of the Minecraft Notebook tutorial series, and here we're going to work on measure 2 of Lunar Clock Luna Dial. This will be completely freeform. I do not have a script for this one. So what we'll do, we're going to build this measure. So the first thing we'll do is start on our treble clef. And what we need to do is put dirt blocks along here for the next measure. That's actually already block 1. So we'll do that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I like to place the next block of the next measure, so actually 17. Break that there, put our measure marker, and we'll do the same thing. We'll put our measure marker for the, the, the other two tracks. Okay, so at this point, what I do is I start working on the rhythm. So what we do is we'll place our block there. And so the, the sheet music for this measure will show up in the bottom left. But the first thing we got here is a dotted quarter note rest. So what that is, is that's a quarter note plus an eighth note that we're going to be resting. So what we'll do is we'll form those notes rhythm-wise and just don't put any blocks, note blocks there. So put a redstone repeater, one, two, three, full clicks, because that will be a quarter note. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now an eighth note. So redstone repeater. Right click once, and then two redstone dust. Now, we have five eighth notes for the rest of the measure. So we'll do a block, redstone repeater, one click, two redstone dust, and then repeat that four more times. So block, redstone repeater, one click, two redstone dust. Block, redstone repeater, one click, two redstone dust. Block, redstone repeater, one click, Two redstone dust, block, redstone repeater, one click, two redstone dust. And if that worked out correctly, the last redstone dust will appear exactly one block before the start of our next measure. So now what you want to do is both of the all these notes are dual notes. But what we don't want to do is put anything there or there because that's part of our dotted quarter rest. So we start here. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we'll place note blocks on top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now we set these notes. So I'm going to press F3 to go into bug mode. And so the lowest note is a C, which would be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the next one is E flat, which I believe is nine. That is correct. So what I have to do is I have to go back and forth right now uh, between my different windows. So when you see me go in, in Escape, that's what I'm doing. So I'm switching back between the sheet music and the website to um, the note block chart. But both of those will be visible uh, for you when you're watching this video. So the next one is C and F, so six, and then F would be 11. And then our next one is 6, because that's a C. And then it's G flat, which is F sharp, which would be 12. And then our next one is C and F, so 6 and 11. And then C and E flat, so 6 and 9. Okay, so let's see what this sounds like. Press F3 to take debug mode off. And press right click on the button and see what it sounds like. Alright, that sounds good to me. Okay, so now that we have the leftmost track done, let's clone this onto the right track. So what I'm going to do is I will press F3, and we want our cursor hovering over our the block that we want to start cloning from, which in this case is the start block right here. So I'll press forward slash clone 328 by 72 by 1905. Press enter, which will be an incomplete command, but that puts it into our command history. 
then we'll come over here and then what we'll do is we take any other block and these will just be temporary one two three so what I did is I put them on the right side of the track one block before the start of our next measure and then three blocks high the reason we have it three blocks high is uh, you won't be able to know it right now but eventually we might have a note block up like this and so this is the highest we would have anything so I just always clone at this height so I get everything regardless if I have note blocks at high or not so uh, press with that with a cursor over that block we do forward slash up arrow and then we do 359 74 1907 press enter which we know is incomplete destroy our three temporary blocks press F3 turn debug mode off actually we didn't need to turn that off because we need to turn it right back on that's okay so then forward slash up arrow and put our last set of coordinates so 328 72 1917 and that's green so I press enter and there we go press F3 turn debug mode debug mode off and now we've got that right track cloned so let's see what that sounds like okay good that sounded a little bit more bold too with having both there all right so now let's build the base track so similar we'll use our oak planks and we need uh, to go 16 of them for the measure but I'll do one extra for 17 uh, so actually that's already starting at one there so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and then seventeen then similar I will build out the rhythm first in this case the first three notes are exactly as the previous measure so we've got dotted eighth dotted eighth eighth so do block redstone repeater two clicks and then four redstone dust because that's a dotted eighth same thing block redstone repeater two clicks one two three four redstone dust and then an eighth note one two and then next thing are four eighth notes for the rest so we do block redstone repeater one click two redstone dust block redstone repeater one click two redstone dust block redstone repeater two clicks actually sorry I actually delete it by accident so block redstone repeater one click two redstone dust block redstone repeater one click two redstone dust hopefully I said that right we'll find out when we listen to this back once it's completed um, so now these are all dual notes and everyone is occupied there's no rest in the bass clef so we just put a block there put it there put it there 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 and now we will put note blocks there There'll be a little gap there from a uh, recording error but anyway we're back and so now our first notes here is going to be six because that was a c and 13 which was a g and then our next one is going to be g which is 13 and then d which is 20 And then G again, which is 13. And then E flat, which is 21. And then so our next note is, let's see, it looks like these are octaves. So it's going to be 6 and 18 for the C's. So I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what you a little shortcut you can do in this situation is I can just do one six, one through six, one through five, six. And then this will be eighteen. And that'll be eighteen. That'll be eighteen. 
18. And that'll be 18. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing that at the very beginning, but as you work with this, you start to realize where you can do shortcuts. Um, it's safest just to do one note at a time so you don't get yourself lost. So I think that looks good. So that would be measure one and measure two. So let's press F3, turn debug mode off, play this and see what it sounds like. All right, that sounds good to me. I just want to hear that one more time just because I can. Nice. All right, that is it for this video. I will see you in part nine where we will talk about pulling up my script. What are we talking about in part nine? Uh, we'll talk about the procedure to start and follow the song, extending the canvas, and cloning a measure.